Hey guys, welcome to my new video and today I want to show you a project I've been working on for the last few weeks. Ever since the Apple iWatch has been announced, all the people have been liking the new user interface, the, the new circles. And I actually thought that in Omnimo we have something very very similar, except instead of being circular it's, uh, well, square. So. What started as, a, as an add-on for Omnimo, I decided to make it a standalone rain meter suit. And today I want to show it to you. Go to our website and type pediapedia.com slash Rhonda. This is it. This is Rhonda UI. Basically, it's very, very similar to Omnimo, but it has a lot of nice additions and uh, some changes. With Ronda UI you can create some really interesting layouts and desktops because it offers a lot of customization options. And from the mistakes that we learned from Omnimo, I tried making these customization options as easily accessible as possible. And uh, I think you will actually quite like the, the new options in this suit. So feel free to navigate our website, you can see some of the screenshots here. And um, yeah, in this video we're going to actually download it and install it on this computer. So just click download and download it from Mega. And this should take a few, few seconds. Right. So now that we have it downloaded, we just open it. And um, extract Ronda to anywhere on your desk. Don't forget to read the README. It has some really important information to make sure that you install it correctly. But otherwise it should be pretty seamless. So just double click Ronda and select to install it. Um, Ronda will actually install in the VP7 folder, so don't confuse it uh, with Omnimo because uh, it's going to reside in the same folder. I did this because some of the tools that work in Omnimo will not work outside of this folder. So just click install and there you have it. This is the intro screen for Ronda. It only has two options here. You can select the 12 or 24 hour format or Fahrenheit or Celsius. Just going to leave that and click next. Just like in Omnimo, we have three, three desktop themes that we offer in the beginning. The symmetrical one, the unsymmetrical one and the blank one, which is just the circle to open the gallery. We'll start with the non-symmetrical one. Here we have some options where you can customize the background. You can make the background either a solid color or even transparent, as you can see in this window, and even aero glass for Windows 7 and Windows Vista. Or you can select uh, the official wallpaper for Ronda, which is glowing, made by Uribani. It's amazing, isn't it? And then click Next, and this will launch the theme. And that's it. You've installed Ronda. Well, to start, just click this plus icon, which will open the gallery. And this gallery contains uh, meters, which are your interactive meters, the shortcuts, the web shortcuts, some extras in version 1.0, and the settings where you can change the theme to something something different, to the gradient. Well, let's give it that. And you can add stuff. Just like in Omnimo, you can drag everything around and put it anywhere on your desktop and you can obviously customize each uh, circle so you can change its uh, properties and you can also change its color you can also resize it well that's a bit too big let's keep it that and yeah that's it we're going to add some new features and new options to this and uh, let me know what you think. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. And now it's time for a shameless plug. Check out my user interface concept for Windows 10. Make sure to leave a comment if you like it. Computer room!